Yeah, back on the Sportsbank Zone. Time now for some updates on the Cricket West Indies four-day championship. We have a result at Sabina Park where Gerard Marcelli is on location. Let's join him for a report. So the first result of the West Indies championship, unsurprisingly coming from Sabina Park where Jamaica Scorpions took on the Windward Islands Volcanoes. Jamaica Scorpions would have started today uh, 72 for four, still 106 runs behind the Windward Islands Volcano first Windward Islands Volcanoes first in the score of 341 uh, they were 100 but they added 162 runs but ended up losing by nine wickets in the end well it was a really good day though um, Romain Morris top scored with 68 for the Jamaica Scorpions to add to his 35 in the first innings he really looked like the best batsman out there uh, full of intent full of confidence and of course he was rewarded with his 68 uh, which would have pushed Jamaica Scorpions over the line and allowed them to get the Windward Islands Volcanoes to bat again. There was a really good bowling performance from uh, Darius Martin. Darius was really good, very economical and he was very disciplined. Four for 85. He finished with those figures for the match and uh, he was really well rewarded in that second innings. It was a interestingly enough day for the Jamaica Scorpions. This is now their 13th consecutive winless match in all formats of uh, Western of regional cricket and uh, they have a lot of work to do of course coming up to the next game against Barbados Pride that will be played here next Wednesday but three Windward Islands Volcanoes batsmen uh, would have gotten half centuries here while only one Scorpion batsmen would have gotten a half century a lot of them to work a lot for them to work on in the batting department uh, I have here Jermaine Blackwood, the captain of Jamaica Scorpions. Let's hear a little bit about what needs to be worked on from him. Jermaine, not the result you would have wanted, not the start you would have wanted to this four-day tournament, but what went wrong for this Jamaica Scorpions team? I think um, the batting let us down in both innings. Um, I think if, if we did score anywhere over 250 in the first things, I think it would be a much better, diff uh, a much different result um, because you know, we have some quality bowlers that we could get, 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 get the job done um, in the bowling department. But I, I think in the batting, I think it's just shot selection. Um, I think we just have to choose, um, choose the right ball that we want to score off. And you know, just be more clear. I don't want to approach things in, in, in the batting and, and just mind the situation of the game as well. Romaine Morris, he was really confident. Of course, he would have been in a position where it looked as if uh, you wouldn't be able to make the Volcanoes bat again, but he just showed intent. He was very confident, played his natural game and was able to get a half century uh, in the second innings. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy, very pleased with, with, with um, my performances in both innings. Um, you know, I know from, from the pre-season, he, he have been batting extremely well, you know, and the same way, the same way he, he approached the game, the same way he, he batted right throughout. So we we'll just give him that freedom to just go out there and express himself. Um, in, in any situation because he, he's a positive player and once he get off you know he can be, be very good for us it's not gonna happen all the time but you know we have just have to back him and, and, just, and just give him that support as 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 a as a, as a um, captain and as the, the, the coaching coaching staff you know we 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 believe to give players um freedom to go there and express themselves so it's that is what we are doing with, um, with Mars. Yeah, well, obviously the Jamaican fans and West Indian fans would know that you have Bonner yourself and McKinsey who all have test experience, uh, not able to fire in this game. What do you have to do though to ensure that that doesn't happen a second time around and you can get your batting order in check? I mean, it's just the first game, so I won't come to hard and, 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 and any, any of the batters. Um, we just have to regroup and come back again. Um, we know that you know we, we play test cricket, but it's the end of the day, end of the day it's still cricket. You have to come and play. So um, we still have to go out there and score runs, and um, that is our job and that is our duty. And we just have to find a way to get it done. Yeah, you have Barbados Pride Nets, of course. Craig Bathwick leading that side. They have been they've been really good. Uh, you play them here, but do you think it would be? Of course, it would be a tough game, but do you think you can get a win in that one? Yeah, for sure. I think I think we're playing CCC. Um, next game combined on campuses um, but I'm just looking forward to the next challenge um, next week um, but again um, we, we always have the bowlers to, to get us 20 wickets so it's just us as, as batters have to just come and put the roads, runs on the board and, and let the bowlers come and, and, and do their thing. We're looking forward to seeing you that. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much Jermaine. Yeah, and, uh,
time now to hear from Kimani Melias, who would have been really instrumental. Uh, his first win as Winwood Islands Volcanoes captain in a four-day format. And yeah, he was really aggressive in the field with his field placements, with his bowling changes, and I thought it was tremendous. We saw a lot of Denver today, some off-break bowling that wasn't really prevalent on the first day, but it proved to be very productive. It proved to be efficient and he got the results that he wanted kimani let's have a chat with you now you must be very happy with that result and definitely always good to start off the tournament on a positive note the guys must be commended for the effort that they gave especially darius martin with the aggression that he showed in the first innings and also he was one of our most economical bowlers along with ryan john you know taking five and coming and score 50 and shima springer who supported very well with the ball and came and score half century as well but we should still be a dis um, disappointment. I should still be disappointed as a batting group. Everybody got stats, but nobody went on to score 100. So that's what we strive for consistency. And come next game, if anybody gets stats, we need to go on and get 100. Yeah, uh, the toss was very important here to win. What really made your decision to bowl first? Uh, speaking to the groundsmen, you know, I haven't come to Jamaica in over 10 years. I asked them what was the best decision, and they told me, you know, bowling first try to get as many wickets as possible and we did just that we pick up five wickets in the first session so like I say the guys especially the fast bowlers must be commended commended for the effort that they gave yeah talk about your fast bowlers uh, it was an entire day of fast bowling on the first day you got 10 wickets out of them but then you introduce spin a little bit more uh, coming on to yesterday and, and today tell me a little bit about that uh, what was the, the reasoning behind that why introduce spin so late in the game well um, the fast bowlers got most of the wickets on, on the first day and the wicket was conducive to fast bowling at this point in time and hence the reason why Demba didn't bowl in the first innings and he bowled in the second innings because the wicket started spinning a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well now your next game you're looking forward to that. You're basically on top of the table now because you have the first win. Um, what, what's going to be the strategy going into the next game? Well, we, we can't get complacent as a team, it's just one game we win. Like I say, we want to strive to be consistent and in being consistent, we want to do the simple things for longer periods of time, both with the bat, ball and in the field. So I urge you guys, you know, to keep trusting the process and the results will take care of itself. Yeah, Windward Islands Volcanoes, they are a team that have come really close in the last couple of years to winning the regional four-day championship. Of course, uh, Guyana would have been prevalent in some years, but you've been second, third, always at the top the table of course as much as you could be do you think this year you have the team the unit that can bring that championship home yeah definitely people don't remember who came first who came second who came third people remember who, who wins so like i say and i will say again we need to be consistent and if we want to win a championship we need to play consistent cricket right through we can't just play consistent cricket in the first innings or in the first session we need to play consistent cricket over a period of four days in each game Thank you, Kimani. Thank you, you are. Yeah, so that was Kimani Melias there, the Windward Islands Volcanoes captain. And yeah, Windward Islands Volcanoes, they have the first win of this regional four-day championship, West Indies Championship, as is now known. Uh, reminder of the scores, Jamaica Scorpions batting first. They would have been bowled out for 164 in the first innings. Yeah, they would have been bowled out twice. And yeah, just... 100 and uh, yes the Jamaica Scorpions they would have been bowled out for 159 and 234 Windward Islands Volcanoes 341 and a 55 for one to win by nine wickets that's it here from Sabina Park in Kingston Jamaica yeah, all right, Gerard Marcilla there at Sabina Park over at Chedwin Park. The combined campuses and colleges following on are 96 for two at Stumps. CCC were bowled out for 185 in their first innings, responding to the Pride's 344 for eight declared. Now, Jonathan Carter top scored for CCC with 59. The out of favor West Indies left arm spinner Jamel Warkan, 4 for 29. So there you have it, the Pride 344 for eight declared CCC 185 and 96 for two they have they trail sorry by 63 runs that means they need a further 63 to make the Barbados pride but again 
in that contest. So that is at Chetwin Park. Let's head now to St. Kitts and Nevis where two matches are taking place there as well. In a rain-affected encounter, Jeremiah Lue picked up 5 for 29 to bowl out West Indies Academy for 177 with Joshua Bishop top scoring with 48. And the Leeward Islands Hurricanes, 124 for four in their second innings. Mikhail Lewis top scoring with 55 for an 84 run lead at Stumps on day number three. So that one could be quite a good one on tomorrow's fourth and final day. Hurricanes 137 and 124 for four. West Indies Academy 177. And at Connery Cricket Ground, no play was possible for a second consecutive day. Some would say the cows came home. Others would say there was seepage under the covers. And yeah, there was no play. Rather disappointing. Remember Trinidad and Tobago um, against defending champions Guyana Harpy Eagles and the TNT Red Force scored 215 for four. That was on Wednesday's opening day with Jason Mohammed scoring an unbeaten 100. Lance Whitaker, quickly, what a story coming out of Connery today. Yeah, well, <laughs> we... we we have a confirmed report that there was seepage, yes. which caused um, uh, the the pitch to be unplayable. But we also hear that some cows invaded the pitch. But, but that hear, was not the reason. But that was not the reason. But it, yeah. the, the cows invading the pitch did happen. There's no, there's no, um, there's no confirmation that that didn't happen, or any or any rebuttal to that story. That's yeah. the word I, I was looking for. Uh -huh. uh, great to see that the Barbados probably looking as if they can get a result at Chedwin Park in after losing the first entire first day. Very much the case in three days. Let's go to a break. We'll be back on the Sportsman Zone.